salt and pepper tofu. Take one. You're gonna get, get a block of tofu. Um, I've tried it with firm, works okay. Softer is maybe better because you get the contrast between the soft in the middle and the crunchy outer layer. So the best crunchy outer layer stuff I've discovered was uh, arrowroot. So you're gonna get like a either a Ziploc or a container, like a plastic container. Um, wait, let me back up. You gotta prep your tofu, right? So you gotta like press the moisture out of your tofu. Do you know how to do that? Okay, so just like press that for a little while. Cut it up into like one inch cubes. Then you take your cubes and put them in a, in a bag or container filled with arrowroot. A pretty good portion of um, like coarse salt, sea salt and a generous grinding of black pepper. Um, and you're gonna shake all the cubes gently until they get coated with the arrowroot starch stuff. Um, and then I usually take like a large, like a wok-like pan or something and put peanut oil. It's a good high heat frying oil. Um, you wanna put like enough to cover the whole bottom of the pan if you just imagine like maybe the depth being like the depth of oil being halfway up the cubes when you put all the cubes in there in the pan okay so and you're just gonna flip them once or you can like put more oil and deep fry them and you never have to flip them it's up to you um, and you take them out and drain them when it's done um, you know it's done when it just starts to you can tell when it looks like a crispy shell and it just ever so start, slightly starts to turn beige. You don't want it to be too done, like too golden brown or anything because the cubes, like the crispy outer layer will get thicker and thicker and harder to bite through and like tougher. So you want it to just be like nice, pleasant, crisp, thin layer. Um, and then you drain them on like a paper towel or something and give them an extra sprinkling of like a finer like sea salt, if you've got it. Um, just to like, so the extra salt sticks on there. A lot of it kind of melts off in the frying process. And then, this is longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, you take onion, like yellow onion, um, jalapeno, scallion, and Thai chili peppers. Um, you can like pour off some of the oil from your pan that you already used just until it's like two tablespoons worth of oil left in the pan um, and you're gonna crank it like on high um, and then put your onion I like to cut it into like little wedges you know whatever whatever you want, like shape you like you can dice it if you want whatever Throw that in, sliced jalapeno, a couple of Thai, like red chilies. Um, you can put those in whole. And um, scallion, which I just chop into like two inch lengths. And then the bottom white pieces I'll like bisect lengthwise, just so they cook more evenly. And then just like toss it, fry it in oil, hot heat, like high heat, until the onions start to crisp on the edges look really nice and like fajita, fajita crisp and then I take that mixture and like kind of blanket it over the fried crispy tofu so it just kind of is like this coating on top uh, also you know salt and pepper the vegetables pretty well um, if you don't want the like jalapeno to be too hot then do the onions first and take them out and then add the sliced jalapeno and do it separately a lot of the like spice will kind of leach into the oil and then what's left is these little jalapeno rings that are like browned and crisp and sweet. So that's a nice way to do it too. That's all pepper tofu. The end.